What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. I can't wait to read these cards. There's an entire archetype being crafted around sushi, and let me tell you that vanilla has a lot of flavor text. I haven't got to actually read anything, but I know there's a bunch of new Gizmex also, including a really cute rabbit mecha that has 50 attack and 50 defense level 1. So I'm just racing with my mind. What could these be? Let's get into it, but before, if not a sellout for once, follow me on Twitter for funny updates and to know that these videos are coming. I get to see these, but I can't read them, and I just make the funnies at them instead. The discount Farfa, if you will. Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting with Fire Kraken, the first Fire Aqua archetype. FYI, the TCG Gizmech names are pretty imaginative compared to the Japanese names, so we may or may not fluff up their names later. They're starting with the Gizmechs. Okay, here it is. Gizmech Inaba, which is Rabbit. Wind Machine Effect, level 1, 50-50. You can only use this card's second effect once per turn. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one machine monster from your hand whose attack equals its own defense in defense position. So you can't use it aggressively, but you can use it for link summonings or other materials or its effects. It's summoned by a gizmech, that sort of thing. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target a machine monster you control whose attack equals its own defense. For the rest of this turn, you cannot declare attacks except with that monster. Its attack and defense become the total original attack and defense of all machine monsters you currently control whose attack equals their defense. Say that 20 times fast. So basically, for all the Gizmex, it becomes one super-powered Gizmex, like a combining robot theme. And it's also helping you get extras out there before it itself goes into the graveyard. Would have kind of been nice to give them... Uh, uh, Gizmech for the extra deck. I don't think they did in this reveal, but we'll see. Gizmech Naganaki is a light machine effect level 2, 950. 950, I see the next one is a level 3. Okay, so the theme is just going up the levels that we've been missing so far. You can tribute one machine monster whose attack equals its own defense. So that would include itself, and then there's a semicolon here, so kind of lone fireish. Special summon a machine monster from your deck whose attack equals its own defense, but with a lower level than the tributed monster. Ah, so you can only go into the rabbit there, and it gets its effect, I believe, on normal summon. Ah, but then if it's in the graveyard, you can get that super-powered effect. Kind of cheesy so far. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one of your face-down banished machine monsters whose attack equals its own defense to your hand. Wait. Add one of your face-down banished machine monsters. That's a weird confirmation you're going to have to show your opponent, I guess. That, uh, because it gives uh, a stat, even though it's banished face-down, you're going to have to show them you're adding it from a face-down banished. Ah, whatever. Help with Desires and Orochi and all that. So it works with Gizmek Orochi, basically. Nice, so a lot of them doing things in the graveyard as extra resources. This directly gets you something back, hopefully. Gizmek Taniguku is an Earth Machine effect, level 3, 1450, 1450. You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each. If this card is normal or special summon, you can place one machine monster from your deck whose attack equals its own defense and on top of the deck. That works with some niche cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, but also pretty cool. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target a machine monster from your graveyard whose attack equals its own defense, special summon it in defense position. That is an extender along with a deck stacker. That's pretty cool. Is that a T? Rex next? What is that? Gizmek Ibuki. This is definitely so far one of the best I've seen, but uh, also not bad. They're, they're definitely the frogs my favorite so far. Gizmek Ibuki is a water machine effect. 1850, 1850. Not bad stats at all. You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each. If you control a machine monster whose attack equals its own defense, you can special summon this card from your hand, so self-enabling onto the field. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one machine monster you control whose attack equals its own defense. Send one machine monster whose attack equals its own defense, but with a lower level than the target, from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do, the target gains attack slash defense equal to the monster sent by its level times a thousand. Uh, or a hundred, not a thousand. A thousand would be crazy. If you're listening and driving, I'm sorry times 100 so i would think ideally you'd be something like gizmek orochi and having kaku face up or something but all of these are small boys small enablers and we get to level four before a field spell we've got gizmek legend kami sukawashime no kiki i uh, probably murdered that 
You got me, Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization. Field Spell. You can only use this card's first effect once per turn. During your main phase, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck, and if you do add one excavated machine monster, so to dead attack equals its own defense to your hand, banish the rest face down. Extra enabling for that other card, I see. Each time a machine monster or monsters whose attack equals its defense is normal or special summon, place a counter on this card. Monster on the field whose attack does not equal its own defense cannot activate their effects while this card has ten or more counters. So so, it has a during your main phase effect that is a hard once per turn, but it's going to help you add something or banish extra things. Boy, we just, <laughs> we're just mixing in Grin Maju, except you're trying to make your own Grin Maju in this. What a weird turn Gizmex have made, and let's see here, the attributes are Water, Earth, Light, Wind. Not a bad mix at all, and interlocking with the Gizmix. This definitely is something I'll have to sit down and crunch through and see what other people come up with. My mind's racing at first. Field spell seems good. Frog seems good. T Rex looking thing seems good. That probably isn't a T Rex and it's probably some other legendary creature. Everything seems pretty decent overall. I just don't like the term has to be normal summoned in a deck focused on special summoning. But uh, maybe they're just trying to not have you summon <laughs> Maju or Alistair. Let's get into what we came for. Oh, coming soon! Yu Gi Oh! Organization! No, come on, have you had time? I know it's really freaking long flavor text. It's gotta be good, alright? Hopefully by the end, we refresh and it's there. Oh, I got trolled. Okay, next up. I know it's not the most important part, but flavor sushi. Come on. Row sous ship. They are sous ships. They're actually sous ships. They are sushi ships, sous ships. Fire, aqua effect, level 4, 200, 300. You can only special summon this uh, the way of this card's name first effect once per turn. You can only use this card's second effect once per turn. If you control a rice sous ship, you can special summon this card from your hand. And the first one is rice sous ship, so rescue rabbit. Superior extender here. Let's go. During your main phase, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck. And if you do add to your hand or special summon one excavated rice sous ship and add the rest back into the deck. So it has to specifically be this. So you have to try to stack it on your deck or... Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, not maybe as exciting as I thought. But let's see. Dreadnought sous ship. Row class first war dish. War dish. Oh my gosh. Fire Aqua Xyz effect, uh, 2200, 300. Two level four monsters. You can use this card's first effect once per turn. If this card is Xyz summoned, you can apply these effects based on the monsters used as materials. Rice Sous Ship, draw one card. Row Sous Ship, this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. So I assume you can get both effects. You could get a draw and a double attack. And it is an aqua, not a machine, so no limiter, crazy things. <laughs> Once per turn, when your Sue Ship monster special summoned from the extra deck inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target a card they control, draw one card. Despite being summoned and drawing a card and making two attacks and destroying things when attack, I feel like... I feel like... It's balanced. Also, once per turn, why not up to twice per turn if you're making a point of attacking twice? Come on, come on, Konami. Give him a little extra power. Suship Galley Kaisen is a field spell. Once per turn, if you normal or special summon a Suship monster, even during the damage step, you can place one Suship card from your deck on top of the deck. There you go. You normal summon the one, you stack the deck, you special the other, you special the other. We're making multiple Suships. We're going in 8,800 damage with all the attacks. 44 and 44. Let's go! The Suship best deck. Once per turn, if your Suship monster special summoned from the extra deck is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, your opponent must pay life points equal to its defense. Well, that defense was super small on the Xyz. Then you can special summon a Rice Suship from your hand, and if you do, immediately after it resolves, uh, Xyz summon a Suship Xyz monster using only that monster as a material. So you get to cheat out another one, and but its defense is 300, 300 and 0. Oof. Uh, if you if they pay no life points, do you get to special also? If it's the vanilla, does that mean this doesn't work at all? I don't know my rulings like good old Tom Box, but that is an interesting one. Sue Ship Roll Specials. Normal Trap. When you activate this card, you also reveal one Rice Sue Ship in your hand. Reveal three Sue Ship monsters from your deck. Your opponent picks one 
for you to add to your hand. Also, shuffle the rest back into the deck. If you revealed a Raisu ship when you activated this card, do you choose instead? So let's see here. You reveal three, but you can choose either because your opponent picks one you shuffle. But this just allows you to choose whichever Su ship. So you can decide your extender or your vanilla. If this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card, then target three Su ship monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them in the deck, and draw a card. You definitely need, with only having two main deck monsters so far, and the X, you need a way to recycle. I don't see this being a serious engine. It's pretty fun. I was hoping it would be competitive. I was hoping we could make jokes about having to eat our decks at events and being hungry once they're back when we miss the lunch round. But it looks like, so far, a little bit casual bait. We'll see if they heat things up as they've been failing to do for volcanics with this archetype and make some spicy rolls to go along in their fleet let's let's see if we can nope we can't zoom in on the fleet and finally let's refresh and see if we have that uh flavor text it is still not there darn it well thanks for watching today's video please subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with the Yu-Gi-Oh news late at night always coming in and like this video of course if you enjoyed the conversation subscribe if you haven't already uh, it's i the gizmex are kind of more meta exciting and my mind's churning there because of the potential and the ways to go the new win con you probably avoid the win con and just attack with anything anyway but big monster how can you resist as a kaiju fan and then the sous ship's a little bit of a letdown but there's something going there so far we'll see if they continue to pump anything into this actual archetype